What's up, movie crew? So today is Tuesday. You know what that means. It's new release Tuesday. So today was a stacked week. The number of things that were expected to come out this week. And every store let me down. Well, not every store, but Best Buy, y'all suck again. This is the second time in a month that I've had issues with y'all. Walmart, what the hell? I come over here looking for your exclusive. I specifically told people I wanted the Cruella exclusive from Walmart over the Steelbook. I had to go to three different stores to get it because no one had their stuff out. So for anyone that's wondering, I did not record because no one had their stuff out except for Target. So we're gonna show off the VIPs this week which is Target, and I picked up from up on Poppy Hill. Got a little bit of disc artwork. And there's some inside artwork on the Steelbook. And again, shout out to Target for actually having these on the shelf. So this was one of two of the Studio Ghibli Steelbooks that came out today. The other one, Porco Rosso. So just like the other one, we've got some disc artwork. We've got some inside artwork and I probably should have shown this with from up on Poppy Hill. But the uh, Studio Ghibli movies do include a little booklet. I gotta say I very much enjoy these. I bought a copy of Nausicaa a while back that didn't include it and I was a little disappointed. All right, so. Next, I'm gonna go in and show off what I got at Walmart. I had to go to three different locations. I went to Walmart specifically to pick up the Walmart exclusive of Cruella and Dementia 13 because Walmart has been delivering on the Vestron titles. Well, the one closest to me, they don't have crap. So they had their standee out for Cruella because they had a giant standee that had the DVD. No Blu-ray, no 4K, no exclusive, just the DVD. I know some people that work there, so I was like, hey, what's up with this? Oh, that's what came in. <sighs> so I went to the next location. This one, I will give a bone, I will throw them a bone because they are currently remodeling right now. And a lot of people over there looked like they were stressed. So to the second location I went to, kudos to y'all for going through what y'all are going through right now. Remodels, they suck. Go to the last location. The shelves are empty. So I asked, I'm like, hey, uh, I was going to buy some of the new releases that came out today. Uh, can I ask what's up? Oh, that person called out today, so we're not putting them out. Do what? Why not just say, Luke, we don't want your money. Get out. Anyway, I had to uh, threaten to ask to speak to a manager, but they did have the Cruella 4K slipcover. This is the one that I wanted out of all of the exclusives. And given that I'm usually a steelbook person, for me to want a slipcover over a steelbook should say something. The only other time I remember doing this was Ant-Man and the Wasp. And finally, the biggest letdown of them all was Best Buy. I went over there to pick up Unbreakable, Batwoman Season 2 because I'm an Aeroverse fan, Clockwork Orange, I was willing to settle for the 4K slip if they didn't have the Steelbook because the Steelbook pulled a Snyder Cut 
where I tried to order it online and it won't there. This is where I went first to get the Studio Ghibli Steelbooks. And I'm forgetting something, which will probably come up in a minute. I go over there when they first open. They had nothing on the shelf. Nice guy, I'm like, hey, I want to pick up some of the new releases. Oh, can you come back later? I had my schedule set up so I could be at certain places throughout the day. And this dude straight up said, can you come back later? I go back later. He's still working. I'm actually in a parking spot, so I don't know why whoever it is is honking the horn. I go back. Luckily, I got the Unbreakable Steel Book, as you can tell. And I do want to show this off because this thing has some amazing looking artwork. And the discs have some disc artwork. There is the 4K. There is the Blu-ray. And there is the inside. So, as far as the new release titles go, this is the only thing I picked up from Best Buy. And believe me when I say this, I am leaving a response on that survey. Best Buy, I am leaving a negative response. I also picked up Perfect Blue. All right, this came out like two or three weeks ago and they put it on the shelf today. But we do have some disc artwork and I do have the back of the J card in here because it was not glued on the back. If you would like to see a more thorough unboxing for Perfect Blue, I will definitely do so. Just comment down below. So, I did not pick up Fast 9 today because, honestly, I have heard a lot of negative responses on it. And I really didn't want to pick up something that I've heard that much negative stuff on. Uh, nowhere. And when I say nowhere, I mean nowhere had a Clockwork Orange on 4K out. Best Buy didn't have the steel book on the shelves. I was very unsuccessful in finding a copy of Batwoman Season 2. So hopefully everyone had better luck than I did today. Comment down below, what did you pick up on New Release Tuesday? I also want to give everyone a heads up because of my schedule Next week's video will pretty much be the same as this. I will go back to doing regular Blu-ray hunt videos in two weeks. If you are new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. I promise I am less pissed off in other videos. I'm yelling, but I'm not pissed off. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up. And thank you all for watching. Tune in next time.